This video is about how to date yourself when you're single. I'm going to reveal how to successfully date yourself if you're single, alone, you haven't had a date in a long time, can't get a date, whatever. To find out more, please stay tuned to this video. Welcome to the SCG Show. Please hit the like button for the YouTube algorithm and turn your life around with my sponsor, BetterHelp. The link is in the description below. Now full disclosure here, I'm applying this video for the people who are currently single who are still open to dating and relationships. What does it mean to date yourself? Rather than just plodding along aimlessly or occasionally lamenting your status as unattached, dating yourself means you're getting out there and doing things you love to do solo just because you can. You embrace the fact that you're not with anyone serious and don't spend your time alone actively, desperately searching for someone. When we go through breakups, it's so easy to walk around with a cloud over our head, metaphorically speaking, and the whole woe is me, pity party ordeal. One moment you were in love, skipping down the street, had someone to wake up to and go to bed every night, the good morning texts, etc. And the very next moment you're now alone. That bed feels bigger than before. That meal for one is just so eerily quiet and you almost feel lost and completely detached. That is why I believe breakups take a significant amount of time to heal and recover from. I've covered this in another video. A good rule of thumb I would say is it typically takes around six months minimum to get over someone and heal and recover. Not entirely, but six months is a good time frame. Look, I lost my dad two years ago and it still hurts and it's still painful. So I believe grief is very similar when it comes to breaking up. The relationship you had is like a death. It's over between you two and you need to have a funeral for it, bury it and ultimately move on from not just them, but the memories you're sharing. Once that happens, there's a period of remorse, grief again, healing, and eventually the embracement of a brand new dawn, recovery, and a fresh start. I'm a little embarrassed to admit this, but with my recent breakup, I went out dating straight away, and it wasn't good. I failed spectacularly, women could see how desperate and hurt I was, and I was rushing to replace my ex, rather than, you know, enjoying being single again and rediscovering myself again and what makes me special rather than pressuring myself and the dates to go out with me and so on. I was rushing basically and that never works out. But what if you're so ready to move on? What if it's been over six months and you're basically open your heart ready for something new? Should you still date yourself? 100% absolutely you should. Let me continue this here. If you're enjoying this video, please smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm and support the SCG show by becoming a member. The link is in the description below. It's decision time. Deciding on your dating philosophy and approach. Before we date ourselves, we must first discover and decide what we want out of life and maybe another person. For several weeks after my breakup in 2021, I was hurt and I felt alone and isolated. I mean, it was a pandemic, so that's a massive reason why. But also I enjoyed being in love, who doesn't? Having someone to watch movies with, go out for dinner, take a stroll on a park with. My last few, two years had been nothing short of turbulent, from the tragedy of losing my dad, just coming out of a narcissistic relationship a few months earlier, it's been a real headache. And in 2021, after years of pain and suffering, I got a dosage of pure bliss and happiness with my ex, only for it to be taken away from me for reasons that in the long haul made sense. We were not compatible long term, plus there were logistic reasons behind our split. And I honestly wish her all the very best if she's watching this, no hard feelings. But for five months or so leading up to Christmas, etc., I was hurt. I was desperately wanting a girlfriend and scaring off any woman that dared want to date me. I was so needy, so desperate, that I just wanted the right woman. And I was like looking for a needle in a haystack. I'd go on a date just for the sake of it. I'd be sat up with someone not right for me, forcing it. It'd be awful. However, when 2022 came around, I looked at my overall life goals and realized something very interesting. I wasn't ready for a serious relationship. As I record this, I'm in the process of moving home, working very hard on the SCG show, getting back into fitness and socializing with friends again. 
I'm open to a relationship, but again, nowhere near forcing it. On top of that, over 65% of the last six years, I have been in serious relationships. So maybe it's time for me to date myself. Knowing that has been a huge weight off my shoulders. I foolishly in the past had goals written in my office, engaged by the age of 30, married by the age of 31, kids by 33. I'll be 35 this year with no wife, no kids, no girlfriend at all. And guess what? That's okay. If I ended up with the wrong person and settled, then what's the point? And ironically, simply changing my philosophy has actually made me more attractive and given me more success with dating overall, which I'll touch on later in this video. So decide now on your dating philosophy. Also, what the hell do you want? And are you even ready for what you want? Firstly, I'd like to take a moment to tell you about my official channel sponsor, BetterHelp. I've personally used BetterHelp and I found it to be so effective for completely turning my life around for the better. BetterHelp is an online portal that provides direct to consumer access to behavioral health services. The online counseling and therapy services are provided through web-based interaction, such as phone and even text communication. BetterHelp gives you four live sessions a month and unlimited messaging in between sessions, as well as access to the group therapy webinars that get updated each and every week. You can sign up for the BetterHelp online counseling service below. By using that link, you'll be supporting the SCG Show community. So turn your life around with my channel sponsor, BetterHelp. The link is in the description below. Next up, having fun alone. This is based purely on my recent discovery and I'll mention several things here that really only apply to my lifestyle, but draw influence if you wish. First of all, I work alone, meaning that I'm my own boss in my own office. I do interact with other people and clients face to face with my other businesses, but 90% of the time it's just me. I've done this for over 12 years. Secondly, I've cut ties with a lot of people Ever since I tried improving myself and started standing up for myself more, I came face to face with more toxic people than ever before, which also included people in family and close friends, making my social life much more quieter than before. And lastly, I have become more introverted. I used to be a guy that was out all the time, seven days a week, clubs, bar, hookah lounge, casinos, you name it. Now in my 30s, I couldn't care less about other people. I chase no one. Not validation, attention, nothing. I'm more introverted than ever. Okay, but where am I going with this? My life has changed dramatically. In some ways I created and designed it, in other ways it was forced upon me. Therefore, I do not spend much time with other people, and I'm largely forced to work, socialise, eat and hang out, well, a huge chunk of it, alone. And guess what? It's not that bad. When I split from my ex-narcissist a few years ago, there are a lot of things I enjoyed doing with her, such as going out to eat, visiting museums, art galleries, going out to the cinema, shopping centers, even for a drink at a local pub or bar. But when we split, I said to myself, I'm gonna do all of those things without her, and I'm gonna enjoy every single one. Sometimes on the weekend, I hop on a train to central London and go and see an art gallery, or go out for dinner alone, or even go spoil myself shopping, all on my own. And guess what? I bloody love it. And I'll continue to do so, because why the hell not? The pandemic has hopefully reminded us how fragile and short life is. Besides, why should we waste this precious life with the wrong person or chasing the wrong person? Especially when you can have so much and enjoy so much on your own too. Hey, if you're enjoying the SCG show, feel free to make a donation to support my work via PayPal. The link is in the description below. A truly successful and fun way to date yourself when single is probably for the first time ever putting yourself first and your needs first. If you're empathetic like me, that can be an enormous shock to the system, as you've probably spent most of your life pleasing others, putting other people first, neglecting your own wants, 
needs and desires. But suddenly you find yourself alone and there's no one to question or answer you but yourself. Forget what your friends, parents and especially your ex have said about you and what you should do and how you should do it. It's time to honestly put the most important person in the world first. And yes, that person is you. Let me ask you some questions. What do you want to do with your life? Do you genuinely want to travel? Do you want to start your own business? Do you want to be more open-minded with dating and be casual? Do you want to change religion? Do you want to move home, move countries? Do you want to spend money on something really lavish, a new car, a new watch, some jewellery? Do you want to completely spoil yourself rotten, take yourself to a nice spa, take yourself to like some treatment, whatever? Well, guess what? There is nobody, I repeat, no one to answer to but yourself. And you need to start putting yourself first. Prioritize yourself if you want to go on vacation alone. And if you can afford it, don't get into debt, go. If you can afford to move house, change homes, who is stopping you? If you just want to be like, you know what, I just want regular casual fun. I don't want to commit to something. I'm tired of serious relationships. Who is stopping you? Who is judging you? There's probably somebody else who feels exactly the same way. Ignore that negative voice. Don't do it. No, your parents said this. Ignore it. Ignore that need to be liked. Not everyone's going to like us. Who cares? Ignore that feeling of being lonely. There's a difference between being alone and lonely. Lonely is that negative emotion. Alone is, hey, I'm alone. So therefore, I'm free. You are the captain of your fate. You are the master of your destiny. So steer that ship. Take control, finally, of where your life should be going or where you really want it to go. In whatever ma manner you want, at whatever speed, put yourself first. Lastly, still date. So ever since I started doing this, my success with actual dating has improved dramatically to the point where I'm a little bit sport for choice. I went from not getting many dates and rejection and disinterest to struggling to keep up with potential options. Look, I'm not saying I'm a player, but I'm taking my time and enjoying myself rather than bulldozing and rushing into anything. And more importantly, not pressuring women I'm dating into something uncomfortable like, see me straight again, let's go out again, I'm looking for something serious, I want to settle down. Now I know what you may be saying, but SDG, how am I going to do this? If I'm dating myself, how do I date others? What? I'm so confused. By starting to date yourself, you immediately remove your neediness, which men and women can smell from a mile away. You're totally cool with whatever happens with your prospective date, and that makes you so attractive. Secondly, you could do this on the side to enjoying your time alone and you entertaining yourself. Dating apps, classes, nights out, you can meet people anywhere. They are just tools, resources, and places to meet a, a new person. But again, they're not the be-all and end-all. And the more pressure you put on those things and people, the far less successful you're going to be. Tonight, for example, I'm absolutely shattered. I'm not feeling great and I'm going to have a shower, cook something and watch some of my favorite TV shows, maybe even play some video games. I had options to go out, even on a date, but I declined and rearranged. Tomorrow I might do so, let's see. It's time to be selfish. However, ultimately, if you're like me, still open to having a nice partner in your life, put yourself out there and still continue to make the effort. I believe I successfully do both, but the most important thing is my mental health, my needs, my wants. I don't care what happens on a date now. If they flake, they're weird, or they're the best women I've ever met in my life, so be it. I come first, as should you. This is not narcissistic or selfish. This actually is very good because maybe if you're empathetic, you've never done this before. And by doing this, ironically, you make yourself irresistible to a potential new partner. Here's a quick word about my sponsor, Keen. Keen provides access to vetted psychics and spiritual advisors who provide guidance and insight on all of life's challenges, from clarity in love, career, you name it. Keen is also one of the most affordable ways to get an instant psychic reading by an accredited advisor at any time, 24 seven. Yeah. A keen advisor is available 24 seven. There's always someone online and you can easily schedule a call with an advisor. 
As a new Keen customer and using the SCG Show link below, you can try your first 10 minutes for only $1.99. Pricing then depends on which advisor you choose and the services are backed with a satisfaction guarantee. Keen is the most affordable way to connect with a psychic advisor. When you meet the right person, you'll develop an online relationship which leads to benefits like chakra clearing, astrology and tarot readings and so much more. So if that sounds good to you, feel free to check out Keen today. The link is in the description below. Hey, thanks for watching. Be sure to comment, like and subscribe.